Hello! In this episode I will weather the zero. Herefore I use Tamiya panel line wash in brown. One half I did already. So I apply small little dots into the panel lines. The wash floats automatically through the panel. I go to every panel. I almost forgot to tell you that I applied a gloss clear coat before the wash. You can choose the degree of weathering by using a gloss or a matte clear coat over the paint. On the matte one, the wash has more grip and you'll get a way more heavier weathering effect with the wash. I will skip a little bit, I think the procedure is clear. I also apply some long lines onto the wing surface where I want to create some weathering streaks. Also from front to back to get a natural weathering. It is your choice how much you add or not. Now I need some orderless thinner. In my case, it's from Abteilung 502. With a brush we will create some long streaks. But first, I use a cotton stick and wipe the wash from front to back in long streaks into the surface. Simply because the wash was still too wet. You could give it a longer dry. So now to the brush and thinner. Dip the brush into the thinner and do some nice streaks from front to back over the wash. The thinner will soften and remove the wash again. Now it's your choice and taste how strong you want it to look or not.
So take a look at the chipping technique on the wings to create some scratches. Therefore, I use aluminum from Valeo. I put it on the back side of a cup. And again the same foam like I used to cover the cockpit with. I dip it into the color and remove most of the paint on the towel again. We need an almost dry paint on the foam. Now I carefully push it lightly on the surface. I have to apologize, my camera battery died during this and I noticed it as it was already done. So I have to show it to you like this. I think it's okay, I don't want to overdo it. Now to the smoke effect of the guns. Herefore, I take a sheet of paper and fold it in the middle. Now I hold it at the end of the gun, take my airbrush and point right at the end of the paper. Now just one or two shots. I also did some freehand spraying around the engine cowl. For that smoke effect I use smoke ray from Mr. Color. Also on the landing gear doors. It's the smoke line from the engine exhaust.
for the guns I use gun metal from Vallejo. Now I just add some lumps and bumps. Oh, I also added the decals on the props. For the headpiece, I use red leather from MIG. And at last, I add the canopy. Herefore, I use Micro Crystal Clear. Add some glue points and put the canopy in place.
So this was it. I hope you liked it. If please subscribe my channel and or share my videos to help to bring modeling to a higher level. Thanks for watching.